Hey guys, welcome back, man. What's going on? You ready to play a little game? <laughs> Let's play What's in the Box. So I'll give you a little hint. We just got a shipment in from our friends at tricktools.com and there you go. Let me give you another hint. Is that enough? So guys, we've been growing and it's time to upgrade some tools. So we called our friends up over at tricktools.com. Let's take a look and see what we got. Nice to get new tools. When you're first starting out, guys, you don't know what you don't know, right? And you get what you can afford. And in some cases, it's not really what you need to do the job, but it'll get the job done. Hey, remember another video I did about this cheap bender, this Chinese-made bender, and you can see up in here where we've put those shear pins in, but... So today, we're upgrading a tool that we use a bunch, and I'm really looking forward to getting this out of the box, getting it over there, and giving it a spin. <laughs> All right, so here's what we've got going on, guys. I make stuff rock. I make rocking chairs, rocking benches, rocking horses. I'll put it on rockers. But to make rockers, we've got to bend tubing. And to bend tubing, we need what's called a compression roller. And when we first got started, we got set up with one from Harbor Freight, right over here. It's this bottom unit here. And we've since upgraded this with an add-on from Swag Off-Road. It's this hydraulic jack. That add-on kit gives us the ability to run one of these Harbor Freight pipe threaders. So it's motorized. But guys, now this is the weak link. This thing wears out. We run through one a year. Not only does that add a big cost to the final product, it's a big waste. And the other thing about this kit, guys, is that once you set it up like this, it's, it kind of limits how easily you can change the dies. Get this thing unwrapped and take a better look at it. I think this is just about the right height. Let's get some measurements.
see how this thing's gonna work. So we'll grab four bolts and get it bolted up. Give it a spin. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get out these dies and give it a try. We've got a couple of axles. Start with the two inch, just like we've been doing over there with that one. It's a two inch die designed for tubing. Outside diameter right there. Got a drive handle. So the drive wheel has a keyway cut into it. You see it there? Of course the handle's got the keyway cut right on the top of it. So you can see here guys, these dies are going to be a lot easier to change out when we're ready to go to a different profile. They just drop right in the slots. Alright, so let's grab a piece of tubing. And it looks like we're going to need to raise up the middle drive wheel. There it goes. Do right down the center. The center point here at 5 foot. And then we're ready to go. Oh, one more thing, guys. Take off this shirt. All right. We'll center it up at five foot. And then it's just a matter of putting some downward pressure on it. We'll crank on it in a little bit. It's time to go to work. And we'll go back the other way. Ooh. We're running into the tree back here, guys. You gotta move my tree. Now it'll clear it. <laughs> we'll go just a little more. Stop it right on the edge. So that was one pass. It's probably going to take 10 to 12 more. Let's do it. So we'll just get it back to center point right there and we'll crank it another quarter of a turn. Looks like a quarter of a turn up there is the way to go. And we do it all over again. I think you can see now why I wanted a good solid base for this thing. Here we go. We got it. So that's what it'll do with two inch tubing. Let's take a look at some of these other dies. So in addition to the two inch that we got over there, we got this inch and a half. Guys, we got this square, this two inch square for square tubing, rectangle tubing, even two inch strap. Let's check that one out. Just swap them out. All 
All right, so let's get a piece of this uh, one by two. And we'll put a nice radius in it. We'll get a little tension on it. And then here we go. All right, guys. So you're gonna have to click subscribe. Come on back this same time next week and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna be doing with this. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next time.